Turning now to the latest on the upcoming 2022 hurricane season. It's been five years since we had a direct hit here in South Florida. And this season, complacency is what worries officials as the season approaches. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Pompano Beach with more. Joan? Well, we are at the Hillsborough Inlet, certainly one of the most beautiful places in South Florida. We hear all the time we live in paradise, but as we all know, paradise can turn dangerous. So tonight, we talk to a woman who survived a terrible storm and also to emergency managers who say we can never be too prepared. Hey, this is an artist, uh, Phyllis Shipley, that is a uh, well-known floral artist. Paintings of every style and color line the walls of Piper Stephens Gallery and Artist Studio. Right. This is your wall. Yes, I like to paint, and this is some of my work. Her life, a blank canvas after losing everything. Kept hanging over Cuba, and then all of a sudden it let loose, and it was like, you know, someone punches you in the, in the gut, whatever, but, you know, your house is right in the right in the bullseye. bullseye. It was Hurricane Irma 2017, the first Cat 5 hurricane that season. Irma's 180 mile per hour winds caused $77 billion worth of damage. It destroyed Piper Stephens' big pine key home. You see the windows knocked out, the appliances gone, the kitchen gone, um, just everything gone. It was, it was, um, it was surreal. She almost rode out the storm and wishes she had taken pictures and personal items with her. Unfortunately, we never know exactly where these things are going to end up. And um, that was, that was our downfall. Because it's been five years since we had a direct hit in South Florida, 17 years since Hurricane Wilma knocked out power for weeks, emergency managers say there's a bit of storm complacency heading into the 2022 hurricane season. It only takes one. Regardless of the predictions and the accuracy, one severe storm is enough to change everybody's life. So Broward Emergency Ops Director Tracy Jackson says at the very least, think about a plan even if you don't write it down. Because if you're actually prepared, then you can afford to be relaxed. Looking back, Piper Stephan says you can never be too prepared. Home is now a condo within walking distance of the beach. She's ready to evacuate when the warning hits. The roads get packed with people. Um, you can't buy gas. You can't, there's nowhere to stay. Uh, hotels get booked up or whatever. And um, I guess plan ahead if you can. If you can. So here's what we all need to start doing. We're about four weeks away from the start of hurricane season. So at least start thinking about a plan. Where would you go? Are you in an evacuation zone? What are you going to do with your pets? Do you have somebody to stay with? At least start wrapping your head around that. It is a beginning. It is better to have a plan and not use it than to have no plan at all. In Pompano Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.